Hi, my name is Moshe Zussman and I'm a wedding and portrait photographer. And today I'm going to give you a quick look into my camera bag. First thing in my camera bag is a camera. I like to use the Canon 1DX, which is a full frame, full body camera. It's got about 17 megapixels, which is more than enough, trust me. And I use it as my one and only camera. I'm a single camera shooter. In addition to a camera, you will need a lens. And if you want to invest in lenses, I recommend going for quality, not quantity. So the first one I recommend going into is the Canon 2470. It's a very, very uh, versatile lens. It can shoot as wide as 24 and zoomed in all the way to 70 millimeter so it can create wide shots and some nice portraits. The next lens I recommend getting is a 70 to 200. It's a great longer lens and it creates beautiful portraits. Also works well if you like to stay further away from your subject, your couples, and shoot in a more photojournalistic style. Also if you're shooting a ceremony and you got to stay in the back so that lens will get you some nice, uh, nice tight frames of the altar. My third favorite lens is the super wide angle 14 millimeter, which is a prime lens. And I use it specifically and mainly when I photograph the reception. I like to shoot from inside the crowd, shooting out or getting a lot of crowd shots. Then my other favorite lens is the 50 millimeter 1.2. It's a great lens for very creative, uh, uh, wide aperture, shallow depth of field uh, images where I really want to blur out the background completely and I'm fairly close to the subject where a 70 to 200 is just not going to fit to work in that room. So I use it sometimes when I'm photographing the bride getting ready or the ceremony from really close and I want to create extra separation between subjects in the photo. The next lens I have is the Canon 100mm macro lens which has a, a hybrid image stabilizer and I love it because I do all the detail shots with it. I literally take it out just for the details and put it back in my camera bag. Beautiful ring shots and uh, shoe shots and jewelry and every little thing that goes into the detail part of the wedding photography. Next, I recommend as a professional wedding photographer to never leave the house without a backup camera. And for that, I use the Canon 5D Mark III. I also keep in my camera bag at least one Canon Speedlight. A lot of times I use the Speedlight on camera, but if I want to take it off camera, I can trigger it with the Canon dedicated transmitter that works well with this specific model. So if you really just don't want to settle for just bouncing off a wall or the ceiling. You really want to create directional lighting. You want to move the flash away from the camera. Those transmitters will work well and they'll do the job. I keep with me a variety of Pocket Wizard products uh, from the Plus 3 to, uh, to the Flex, uh, Flex TT5. Those can trigger not just a specific manufacturer of a flash, but any manufacturer. So if I'm using multiple speed lights and I don't always have the specific brand that this transmitter will work with, then these will trigger anything. Studio strobes, speed lights, any brand, Canon, Nikon, or any anything you could think of. If I want to take the speed light off camera, one of my favorite tools is the speed light clamp. This clamp can attach to everything you could think of. Uh, a chandelier, a light stand, uh, a dress. I actually clamped it to a person once. And um, it's got a cold shoe, so the flash will go right on it. And that gives you off-camera lighting on the go with such a small tool, which is great. If I find myself in a scenario where I'm shooting with mixed lighting, for example, uh, tungsten lighting inside a, a, a ballroom, and I know that my speed light creates light in a color temperature of daylight, I have to balance it. And it's a lot easier to balance your speed light than all the lighting in the room. For that, I'm gonna use gels. And by gelling the speed light, I now have a unified white balance, uni unified uh, uh, color temperature in the room with all the light, the ambient that comes from the room and the artificial light that comes from my flash. I also recommend that you have spare batteries for your camera spare double A's for speed lights or pocket wizards, a lot of memory cards, a lot more than you think you need. SanDisk is my favorite brand. I've been using them for 10 years, never had a problem with it. Uh, 16 gigs minimum or 32 is great to have because then you can uh, swap. I recommend swapping a memory card every four to 500 images because then you don't just put all the eggs in one basket. My camera shoots on two memory cards, so I make sure that I shoot for two cards at the same time. That's already a backup of every image I take. That was a quick look at my camera bag for wedding photography. Thank you so much for watching.
Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.